Are you single and unhappy with your life? Do you feel alienated and segregated? Do you think your life is meaningless? If you feel like that, this video is undoubtedly for you. Being single and happy can be challenging, but this journey is full of chances to find yourself and be satisfied with your life. In today's video, we will unleash five secrets of happiness a single woman can find to make her life meaningful and worth living. And number one, embracing self-love and personal growth. If you want to be happy as a single person, you need to love yourself. That means making a bond with yourself that is as caring and important as any other. You should set goals, be comfortable making mistakes and enjoy your success. You should be kind, patient and accepting of yourself, just like in a good love story. You must be happy with the person you see in the mirror every day. How does it show up in the real world? It would help if you managed time to think about yourself in your daily routine, keeping up a habit of self-reflection by writing, practicing awareness, or even just taking a break with a cup of tea can be helpful. Pay attention to your feelings, be honest about your goals, and plan to change yourself. You might learn how to define happiness for yourself and find a way to get it that way. The second part of this secret is personal growth, which means always trying to be the best. You can believe in what you can do when you love yourself. If you accept and welcome your beliefs and self-confidence, you can overcome self-doubt, break free from social standards, and firmly follow your goals and ambitions. If you love yourself, you can face life's challenges with your head erect. As you learn to love yourself, an understanding voice inside you will start to speak to you and comfort you when you need it. People who love themselves can get through hard times, learn from them, and become better versions of themselves. When you love yourself, you stop living for others and start doing things for yourself. Through the lens of Stoicism, we'll learn to embrace our inherent worthiness, acknowledging that true fulfillment stems not from external accolades, but from an unwavering acceptance of ourselves as inherently valuable beings. Drawing inspiration from Stoic philosophy, we'll explore practical strategies for quieting the inner critic, embracing our imperfections, and fostering a profound sense of self-acceptance. Moreover, we'll delve into the stoic concept of personal growth as a lifelong journey towards wisdom and virtue. By aligning our actions with our core values and focusing on what lies within our control, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. From cultivating a growth mindset to practicing gratitude and mindfulness, We'll uncover practical techniques for fostering personal development and flourishing in every aspect of our lives. Through thought-provoking insights and real-life examples, this discussion offers a roadmap for harnessing the power of Stoicism to cultivate self-love, nurture personal growth, and ultimately lead a life of meaning and fulfillment. Number two, increase your social connections and community involvement. For many single women, increasing social connections and community involvement is the secret to happiness. Taking care of your mental health means making and keeping friends. Stop worrying about being alone and make new friends to enjoy every moment of your life. If you want to make a difference in the world, working on your relationships with close family and friends might be worth your time. Support from your friends and family is essential as they give you everything you need. This relationship lets you share your life stories, be proud of your achievements, and find comfort when things go wrong. Some women become closer to each other after meeting regularly for things like reading groups, movie nights, or coffee dates. Talking to people from different backgrounds can help you learn new things and make new friends. Families are the bond that holds every social network together, no matter how far apart the people are. Getting involved in social and community settings can help you in many ways. Your mental health improves when you feel less lonely and more fulfilled. It gives you a sense of community 
and purpose. Being involved in your community can improve your physical health because it often leads to a busier lifestyle and the formation of support networks that help you keep up good habits. Participation also enables you to grow and improve your skills by letting you learn new things, go ahead professionally and improve your leadership skills. People who volunteer in their communities say that it helps them feel better about themselves and gives them more confidence. This is because volunteering helps people grow and be happy. Start doing the things you like the most. Meet people who want the same things you do at community centers, online groups, or events in your area. Giving your time and skills to groups whose goals are similar to yours is one of the best ways to get involved. Active participation in social groups can have a strong protective effect, which in turn lowers the chances of experiencing problems like mental pain, drug abuse, social issues, and suicidal ideas. By doing so, you will improve your confidence, happiness, and satisfaction with life events. Remember that the impact of your participation should be recognized as little things can add to significant changes. From practicing empathy and compassion to embracing the common humanity of all people, Stoicism encourages us to recognize the interconnectedness of humanity and to seek out opportunities for service and collaboration. By cultivating virtues such as kindness, gratitude and generosity, Stoicism empowers us to forge deeper connections with others and to find fulfillment in our shared experiences. Through thought-provoking insights and real-life examples, this discussion offers actionable steps for applying Stoic principles to enhance social connections and community involvement. Whether you're looking to strengthen existing relationships, expand your social network, or become more actively engaged in your community, Stoicism provides a timeless guide for living a more connected and purposeful life. Number three, follow your dreams and personal legends. You must start to follow your dreams and personal legends if you want to find happiness and meaning in your life. This path not only makes you happy, but it also gives you a sense of fulfillment. Start doing things that make you happy, like painting a picture, writing a diary, going on camping trips, playing an instrument, or doing anything else that makes you happy. These things will also boost your self-worth. You will start believing in your skills and enjoy following your dreams. When you do things you want, you feel great about yourself and get great satisfaction from them. These things make you more attractive and open up a lot of new social links and chances for you to grow your network. Having hobbies in common is a great way to break the ice and get to know someone better. You can meet people who share your interests by joining a book club, acting in a local theatre play, or working for an important cause. Passions and interests also include making a difference and leaving a lasting impact on others. In addition to getting what you want, doing something that helps other people gives you a sense of meaning. Developing something of permanent value, being socially involved, or helping others are all ways to reach this goal. Many single women find much happiness and satisfaction in making the world better and leaving a lasting mark on it. To make your mind more flexible, you must keep pushing yourself, learning new things and getting out of your safe zone. This behavior cue has to do with mental health and may help keep people from feeling alone and like they're not doing enough. Something you're interested in should be more than just something you do for fun. In short, Giving much time and effort to follow your dreams and personal legends can help you feel better about yourself and find real happiness. Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions or denying reality. It's about facing life's challenges with a clear mind and unwavering determination. Imagine a warrior standing strong amidst the storm, unshaken by the winds of doubt or fear. That's the essence of Stoicism, 
finding inner peace and strength in the face of adversity. Your dreams are like stars guiding you through the darkness, illuminating the path to your true purpose. But pursuing your dreams isn't always easy. It requires discipline, perseverance, and a willingness to embrace discomfort. Stoicism teaches us to welcome challenges as opportunities for growth, knowing that each obstacle is a stepping stone toward our ultimate destination. Think of your personal legend as a quest, a heroic journey filled with trials and triumphs. Along the way, you'll encounter setbacks, doubts and naysayers. But remember, the Stoic Sage doesn't let external circumstances dictate their inner peace. Instead, they focus on what they can control, their thoughts, actions and attitudes. Number four, establish independence and financial freedom. Financial freedom is a big part of how single women think about their happiness and well-being today. As a single woman, you feel independent in more ways than just being able to handle your money. That means doing what makes you feel good, having the strength to go your way and making choices whenever you want. You're independent if you have a strong sense of who you are and what you want. One of the advantages of becoming financially independent is making choices about their lives without worrying about money. It allows you to follow your schooling, career opportunities and personal interests without relying on anyone else for money. You can track your dreams if you are financially independent. This could mean returning to school, starting a business or visiting the world. Once you're financially stable, others will admire you and want to be like you. Because you've been successful in many fields, you go against stereotypes and the idea that some jobs are only for men. Being financially strong, you are showing the world that you can do anything you want. You can become financially independent with time, careful planning and positive actions. Your confidence and sense of self-worth will naturally grow as you get past problems and reach your financial goals. Having a solid business base to deal with unplanned events is essential as our lives are full of surprises. If you are financially strong, you can handle anything that comes your way, whether it's a sickness, losing a job or something else. The women who have made a lot of money can successfully go through the difficult times of their lives. So, you must find ways to save and spend your money wisely. If you have enough money, you can focus more on living life to the best, both mentally and physically. Now, here's where Stoicism really shines. It teaches us to find contentment in simplicity. You don't need fancy cars or designer clothes to be happy. True wealth comes from within. By embracing Stoic principles, you learn to find joy in the little things, to appreciate what you have and to cultivate a mindset of abundance. But perhaps the most powerful lesson of all is resilience. Life is unpredictable and setbacks are inevitable. But with a stoic mindset, you learn to face challenges head on, to adapt and overcome, and to emerge stronger on the other side. So, are you ready to take control of your destiny? Are you ready to build a life of independence and financial freedom? The journey won't be easy, but with Stoicism as your guide, the possibilities are endless. Number five, start living in the present. If you always think about the past and worry about the future, you can't move forward in life. You can appreciate your life more and feel less stressed if you learn to live in the present. When you know how to live in the present, it helps you focus on one thing at a time. Being present in the present moment is hard when you constantly think about your past unpleasant events. It will help you be more present if you let go of your ideas about how things should be and accept them as they are. You can't change the things that happen to you and life won't always match your plans. If you allow yourself to let go of things you can't change, you will start living in the present with a sense of joy and peace of mind. Moreover, 
You will enjoy the present moments of your life if you spend time with positive and helpful people. It will then be easier for you to concentrate on the good things happening now instead of dwelling on the bad or worrying about the future. Do you ever find yourself trapped in the past, haunted by memories, or lost in worries about the future? It's like living life on autopilot, missing out on the beauty and richness of the present moment. But fear not, because there's a powerful philosophy that can help you break free from this cycle. Stoicism isn't just for togas and ancient philosophers, it's a practical and timeless guide to living a fulfilling life in today's fast-paced world. At its core, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, let go of what we can't, and find tranquility in the midst of chaos. Imagine waking up each morning with a sense of clarity and purpose, ready to tackle whatever challenges come your way. That's the magic of living in the present with Stoicism. It's about training your mind to be present, to fully engage with each moment, and to find peace in the here and now. So how do you start living in the present with Stoicism? It all begins with a shift in mindset. Instead of dwelling on past regrets or worrying about the future, Stoicism encourages us to direct our attention to the present moment. It's about accepting reality as it is, without judgment or resistance, and finding contentment in the here and now. But living in the present doesn't mean ignoring the lessons of the past or neglecting to plan for the future. It's about finding a balance between learning from the past, preparing for the future, and savouring the present moment. One powerful stoic practice for living in the present is mindfulness. By cultivating awareness of our thoughts, emotions and sensations, we can anchor ourselves in the present moment and experience life more fully. Whether it's taking a mindful walk in nature, savouring a delicious meal, or simply pausing to appreciate the beauty around us, Mindfulness helps us tap into the richness of the present moment. Another key aspect of Stoicism is practicing gratitude. By focusing on the blessings in our lives and expressing gratitude for them, we shift our perspective from scarcity to abundance. Gratitude reminds us of the beauty and wonder that surrounds us each day, helping us to find joy and fulfillment in the present moment. Living in the present with Stoicism isn't always easy, especially in a world filled with distractions and demands. But by cultivating mindfulness, practicing gratitude, and embracing the now, we can unlock the full potential of each moment and live a life of purpose, meaning, and fulfillment. So why wait? Start living in the present today and discover the transformative power of Stoicism for yourself. Love and being loved are important for everyone, even if they are not in a relationship. Every part of your life will be better if you learn to enjoy being single and use that time to boost your self-esteem, sense of self-worth and understanding of what you really want. There's nothing better than a love date with yourself, whether you're in a relationship or not. Enjoy your own company and be yourself. If you like this video and want to get more, remember to like and subscribe to this channel as there are many more to come. Stay Stoic.